Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with kind of a larger haul. This is all stuff that has been kind of accumulating for the past couple of months and I haven't really found the time to sit down and film a haul, but here I am and I have a lot to show you. Um, I mostly have stickers, but I do have some washi and like, you know, a Simply Gilded subscription box as well as a new like accessory item, I guess you could say. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started, I think, with the washi and accessory first, and then we'll go into all the stickers. So first and foremost, I have my first ever order from Happy Scrappy. I do have um, four, four of the jumbo albums already, um, but those were gifted to me from Andrea, so I I never purchased from Happy Scrappy before, but I saw that she was doing this Once More With Love collab, and it was so cute. I loved the Polaroids with like the red foiled hearts, and this is one of the jumbo um, albums, and I really wanted to get this one. I don't know what I'm gonna put in it yet, haven't quite decided, um, but I did just want to grab it anyway because it's super, super cute. If you haven't seen any of the Happy Scrappy albums, I just checked her website this morning and there isn't any listed, but I would definitely follow her on Instagram because she does post um, frequently about when she's going to like you know release them and stuff. But there are the jumbo albums and then there's like the regular size albums, which I actually want to get a couple of those because I feel like those would fit my foil and my character stickers really well. But these fit um, like sticker kits really, really well. Um, do I have anything like close by? I have one right here. I have the XOXO kit from Scribble Prince Co. But they fit the sticker kits like really well. And I mean, it's a really great way to store your stickers or your kits or anything like that. Um, so I just wanted to grab this one because again, I just really liked the pattern of this. So that was my first ever order from Happy Scrappy. Then I have an order and two subscription boxes from Simply Gilded. I'll go through my order first. I haven't been ordering that much. Um, nothing's really like appealed to me that much recently. And I think I'm, I honestly think I'm more of like a pre-order and subscription box type of person. Like she does like the pre-sales, which I love. And then, you know, the subscription boxes, which I have intense FOMO. So I'm, I still won't unsubscribe, even though I'm not happy with like 70% of the contents. But anyway, so this is my past order. Um, I placed it on December 21st, in case you're curious. I have my invoice right next to me, so. I'll go ahead and open it up and show you guys what I got. I haven't really opened any of this stuff. Like, I opened it once and then just kind of put it in my haul pile. So, it's been a minute. But this was the journaling card and freebie that I got. I like getting these little freebies. I put them on the back. I actually have an example right here. I'm sending out a birthday card this week. And I put them on the back of, like, cards and stuff. So, I do save these. I really like them, the little bow seals. And then this is the journaling card. It's a Simply Gilded and Pigeon Paper Co. Um, like collab card it's really really pretty actually so i'll be saving that and then i got three sets plus this so the first thing i got here this is the happy scrappy and simply gilded like collab washi this is the main reason i placed the order it's a light gold foil um i really liked it because it did have a bow but i also really liked the like little unicorn cake and i thought the color like the floral background was really pretty so i did place an order specifically for this but i did also grab a couple of other items i grabbed this which i love i love the polka dot rolls uh, so this is a set of the red and white polka dots with the champagne gold foil bow washi um, again in 15 millimeter and 10 millimeter i honestly don't use the 10 millimeters or the five millimeters that I have at all I'm honestly thinking about selling those in the future or I don't know <laughs> I have to figure out what I'm gonna do uh, because I only really use the 15 millimeters so I'll figure that out and let you guys know in the future but this is the red and white sorry it keeps going out of focus I keep trying to fix it there we go then I got this one right here which is another polka dot roll this is the robin's egg blue and white polka dot with silver foil I really like this again too. I think this will be really pretty in the springtime. And then this one, I think I accidentally, or not accidentally already have, but I, I'm pretty sure I already have. It's the light pink and silver foil. Um, let me just like, I have my foil right here and this is my light pink and silver, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, pretty sure I already own this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, put this possibly in like a cell pile cause like, you know, realistically I don't need that. So that was my order from Simply Gilded, and then I have 
um, the two subscription boxes. I have December's and January's here. If you've already seen these, feel free to skip ahead. I'm sorry, I'm behind, but I still wanna show you guys and give you guys my thoughts. So December's theme was royalty, which is like a queen, like, I don't know, queen theme. I don't know how to explain it. Here's the box. It will get thrown away. And here are all of the items inside. Ugh, my bad. Okay, I can actually use this as a trash box. Anywho, so first things first, you get a card. Yes, a card that says what everything is inside. So the first thing is the foiled journaling card, which is this right here. I'm not a huge fan of this theme, so I'll probably just put this in like a pass along pile. So there's that. Um, then you get the foiled pocket tea and inserts, which I'm not gonna open. These are like vacuum sealed now. They didn't used to be, um, but I just don't personally care for these anymore. So a giveaway pile. Um, you get the polka dot pen, which I do really like these pens. I think they're really cute. I don't use them to write with, uh, but I do use them as like decoration pieces. And I think they're cute. It's like a kind of a glossy white with gold uh, polka dots. And I like how it says simply gilded right here. That's what it looks like. There's that. You get the foiled notepad, which I do like these. Um, this isn't a sticky note or anything, it is just a notepad, but I do use these for various you know, purposes. So I will be saving that. Then you get the paper clip set, which I don't think, have I gotten these yet? I'm not sure guys, or uh, paper clips at all in her, um, I think I may have subscribed right after she started sending these, or she sent these and I subscribed after. I don't remember, but I don't think I've ever gotten paper clips before, but they're really cute. You have the crown, the bunny, juniper bunny, and then like a little teacup here. Then you have a foiled notepad. Oh, I skipped that. I put that already. Anyway, uh, the this, wait, what? Huh? What? Is this not on here? Oh, foiled adhesive pockets. Sorry, I was like, where is this at? So these are just like sticky pockets. You can put in like TN setups or anything like that. This one says queen with like pink polka dots. And then this one is the same sort of like bunny theme here. I don't really set up my TN. I just kind of use it super functionally. So I'm not gonna be using these. You have the sticker sheets, which again, I really could care less about. They're cute, but like, I'm good. Um, you have the bow seals, or not bow seals, but these are like the teapot seals, which is like a really hot gold foil. Again, I use these for just various like reasons or purposes, so I will be saving those because I do like those. And then you get this, um, what is this called? Oh, it's a keychain, but here, I'll just open it up. So it's like a, I don't know how to describe it, like a felt juniper bunny keychain which she's been sending a lot of these this one's really cute i feel like this would be cute for like avery's book bag or something like this isn't something i would put on a key ring but i think it's really cute so there is that i'll add that to my key chain collection and then you do get the tote which i like these i like these a lot when i used to get beauty subscription services i would collect these so still collect these and you get your washi tapes inside which is kind of the bread and butter of the subscription in my opinion and the inside is pink in case you were curious mm, i don't even know where to put half this crap anyway okay so one, two, three, four, five washi tapes. Oh geez, hello. I forgot what was in these. So here are the washi tapes. So the bow washi is like a hot gold or like champagne gold foil with a white bow, which I think is kind of cool. Um, I know she's doing this for the February box as well with the rose gold. I think it's different and I like it a lot. So there's that. Then you get this like 15 millimeter, you get this in 15 to 10 millimeter, 15 millimeter like blue. It kind of matches the pouch with like the pink veining and it has the gold foiled crowns. You have this black and white polka dot with um, like gold foiled floral arrangements. And then this one, which is like kind of like Alice themed. It says like down the rabbit hole. It's a 10 millimeter tea time. And there's foiled like teapots and bunnies and cups and stuff on it. So those are the washies for the December box. And then moving on to the January box, the theme was Good Luck Charm, which I think is cute. I'm glad she did this for January because it, her boxes ship so late in the month that I just don't feel like this would have been a good theme for March. So I'm glad this was a January box. And it's really cute. I do like the mint green and all of like the rainbow and stuff. Let's get everything out here. So there's the card that says what everything is. Um, first and foremost, I'll just go through it like this. So you have these little keychain or keychains, these little pins, which I think are cute. I do collect pins now, so I'm like 
not mad about these. You get like a little boba tea, which I don't like boba tea at all. And then a little like juniper bunny here. So I'll put that to the side. Then again, the foiled inserts. I don't use those, so those go there. Another keychain. I think the keychains are cute. I'm not gonna like lie and say that I'm like mad that I got another one, but I also don't need four. <laughs> I think I have three sitting right there and this is my fourth. So it's kind of a lot, but this is another gold one. I mean, they're pretty sturdy. And you get the heart like key ring. You get the juniper bunny, a rainbow, a boba tea, and then like a little bow. I mean, they're really cute, but again, like I said, I have others just sitting. You know, this per this one's personally my favorite, but I mean, it's just it's a lot of keychains. They're cute, but it's a lot. Uh, then you get these foiled sticky notes, which somebody said that you can't write on. I think. I'm not sure, don't quote me. But anyway, they're really cute. They're the rainbow sticky notes. I think these are really cute. I really like those. Um, you get the nail decals, which I also think are really cute. I haven't gotten my nails done in so long and I don't really plan to, to be totally honest with you. But these are cute. I'll keep these for like Avery because I feel like she would love those. Um, some more seals, love these. The rainbow, the boba tea, a little like paw print. I'll use those. Um, the journaling card, this is cute if you were doing like a St. Patrick's Day setup. And then the stickers, which look slightly different, but TBH, I just don't care. So there's those. Here's your pouch. Love this pouch. This pouch is really pretty. I love like the pastel rainbow. Living for that. And then here's all of your washi. Again, you get five, five washies. Am I right? I think I'm right. Five washies. Let's line them up. So get them like this. There you go. So your bow is the pink and white striped with gold foiled bow, 15 and 10 millimeter. Reminds, reminds me a lot of like Victoria's Secret. I think it's really, really pretty. If you have the Angels kit from Scribble Prince Co, this would be like a really dope washi to use with that. Then you have two 15 millimeters here. This one is like a green with gold foiled, like St. Patrick's Day, boba tea. Like it, it just gives me a lot of St. Patrick's Day feels. It's really cute. This one is just straight up like gold foiled boba tea. And then this one is a 10 millimeter of like purple with gold foiled like feeling feeling lucky lucky me good luck just like your quote your text washi essentially so that is everything from simply gilded and happy scrappy okay and also i totally forgot to show you guys my new erin condren for 2019 i ordered this and received it all around the same time that i was starting to get really really sick in the beginning of my pregnancy so i just never showed it and someone did ask to see it oh there's a cat in here I didn't even realize um, someone had asked to see it in one of my past plan with me so I figured I would just show it so this is just the 2019 Aaron Condren vertical neutral looks essentially the same on the inside as last year but this is the cover that I got I just got like the star cover you know personalized with my name but that is that and now let's get into this massive pile of stickers so i have a lot to show you so the first order that i have is actually two separate two dollar tuesday orders from sadie stickers i have never ordered from sadie stickers before but her two dollar tuesdays have been just like killing me so i've been purchasing so this was actually my first ever order from sadie stickers was like her valentine's two dollar tuesday and i only ordered a few things and looking back like in retrospect i wish i would have ordered more but i didn't know you know so it's fine. So I got um, the heart header, foiled headers. So I got two of the rose gold heart foiled headers and then one silver and one gold. Again, I really wish I would have just got like two of each, but I just don't think. I just order. I don't know why. So I got those and then I think I got one of every foil color of the heart date numbers so your gold your silver and your rose gold which are really pretty and these are on transparent paper and then i got one of each of these four colors three colors four colors of her like foiled on like pink which i kind of love this idea i don't know how well i'm going to use it because like you get two headers or two of these like bow line headers, two of these like bow headers, like I would use these as dividers, a quarter box and two quarter boxes and two half boxes, but they're in very specific colors. I don't know how often I would use these, but I just really wanted them. And the cool thing about her $2 Tuesdays is that she offers everything in like a buy all bundle, 
which I like. So if you do like everything, you don't have to individually go and put everything in your cart. But me personally, I was just like, I was just trying to figure it out. So that was my first $2 Tuesday order from her. And then my second one was this one here, which again, looking back, I wish I would have ordered more, but you live and you learn, you know what I mean? So I got one of each foil color of these um, line bows. They're not necessarily headers, they're just little single lines with her bow, which I really like. Here, let me kind of get closer so you guys can see maybe. Mm, yeah, I really like that. So here's her rose gold, her gold, and her silver. So I really liked these. I don't know what I'm going to use these for, if I'm going to use them for dividers or, you know, I'll just, you know, play around with them and see. So I got those and then I got some of her full boxes. I think I got two of each style so the first style is just the square which i love like the squared off box with the bow at the top so yeah i got two in every foil so i have two gold foil two silver foil and two rose gold foil i really like these a lot if you know me and you know my plan with me as you know i love that like stroke outline it's my fave and then i got two of each of these as well which is kind of the same thing but the bows are on every corner so i have two gold two silver right yes i can feel it and then two rose gold as well. So that was my second and final uh, Sadie Stickers order from her $2 Tuesdays. I'm, I'm just really liking them a lot. And I feel like it's pretty affordable. I'm not like angry with it. I don't know how to explain that. I'm not angry with it. Anywho, she's sitting on my album, whatever. Next, I have an order from Happy Daya. I have never ordered from Happy Daya before. Every sticker that I've had and that I've used has been gifted to me. So I really wanted to place an order because I really like her characters. I wanted to use my friend Allie's PR code. And um, she has a lot of like sibling stickers, which I really wanted. So this is my first ever order from her. She ships from Thailand and this came pretty quickly. She, I ordered, got it shipped the same day. Like it shipped same day. And then it got to me in a week, which from Thailand, which I thought was pretty good shipping times. So. There's that. So it came like this. My desk is just turning into like one giant mask. I need a drink. So out of breath, you guys. Um, this was here, this cardboard piece for reinforcement. Everything came like this. So I got a nice little freebie cello here, which is really cute. It came with like a ton of little freebies. I don't know if she had anything going on when I ordered. I just wanted to place an order. So my little freebie set came with some die cuts of little characters, which are really cute. They're just like basic cardstock die cuts. This one's really cute. And I really like this one as well. And then I got two little freebies. I have this one here. I like how it's cut out, it's so cute. And then, oh, I love the little like ramen sticker. Oh, and the game night one. And then this little happy fairy wishing you a lifetime of happiness. These are really cute. So that was like my little freebie pack, which I thought was really sweet. So there's that. And then you also got this large freebie, which came with my order, which is all of the die cuts pretty much in a freebie. And then my actual order. So I just ordered like the characters because she does do like animal characters and like food doodles and all sorts of things. But I could have been on her website for like four hours. So I was like, you know what? <laughs> Let me just get what I know I want and come back later. So I did get this sheet. I have this sheet um, with like an older girl and a younger boy to mark Avery and Bennett, but I really wanted to get this for Avery and her little sister who's coming very soon. So I thought this would be cute for like playtime. I got a little reading on the sofa ones, the little soccer ones for Avery. Girl loves soccer. Uh, the mama holding the baby. This would, I thought this was so cute for Avery. This is like going to school, but I thought it would just be fun for like any sort of outing. The two siblings in the bath. The mama holding the baby here, like in a little wrap. Reading to a toddler, or it could be a baby, but toddler. Uh, the couple's cuddling one. And then I got like the friends ones. I think I actually already have these, but <laughs> reordered them. And this is just like friends, like gossiping, I would say. And then I got the like Mickey Mouse, like Magic Kingdom. Disney World ones because I thought they were really cute. So that was like my first ever order from Happy Daya. Very happy with this order. I feel like it was relatively cheap, came really fast, really like it. Okay, then I have an order from Coffee Monsters Co. I haven't ordered from the Coffee Monsters Co. in a while. Um, she had a few new releases, but I mostly wanted to get or mostly wanted to stock up on things that I was running low on. So I did get some new things to me, but mostly stocking up on things because 
as you guys know, I use a lot of Coffee Monsters Co. in my spreads, so had to do that. So I got to this card here, which is so cute. I love Papa Tater. I think that's like the cutest thing ever. And then this is the journaling card. Very cute. This is the little freebie I got. Make sure it focuses for you guys. You have the pizza and the donut, the recharge your battery, the little heart, and then the baking time, which is cute. I did get one of her smaller sheets of the emojis playing soccer. Again, Avery's in soccer. Well, she's not with me in soccer, I don't think, this spring, but we got to find a new program for her, but there's that. Anyway, so I did get these self-love emojis. I thought these were really cute. I like the little face mask. There's pizza, um, the popcorn, and then the me time. She did change it so it's all like larger and then mini sizes, which I really like because I tend to use these sizes the most. I got the princess emojis. I didn't have these, so I just wanted to grab them, so I got them. Um, I got the Target emojis. I have the old Target sheet, but I wanted to get this one because it's a newer, like, kind of, like, reformat of the Target emojis. Okay, so I restocked on the Taco Time emojis because <laughs> I use these quite a bit. I restocked on the Sleep In Doodles, which I, like, hardly use because I don't want to run out of them. So now that I have another sheet, I'm happy with it, and I'll definitely use these up. The TV Addict ones, again, I was running low on these, and then I also restocked on the YouTuber emojis as well. So that was my little order from the Coffee Monsters Co. on her website. And then I did an order from Once More With Love. I again haven't ordered from Once More With Love in a while. She had some new releases, and I don't think I restocked on anything, as far as I can remember. Here's my journaling card. Very cute. And I did also get her collab washi with Simply Gilded, which I felt like I needed. I have all of the white with various foil color bows. I have the white with champagne gold, rose gold, silver, and hollow. So I figured I should get the white with the Once More With Love red, right? So I just got those. I really love it. So that was kind of the main reason I ordered. So then I have a little freebie here, which is super cute. This was my December freebie. And then I got some more of these little seals, which I, I really like the seals. So there's those. Let me just kind of do this right here, my invoice, and then my journaling card, which I already showed you. So here's my order. So I think this might just be, oh, I restocked on a couple things, but it's, it's mostly just new things to me. So this is the single Valentine's Day sheet. Obviously I'm not single, but I just felt like this would be really cute to mark like other things, like just like the bath and the girls night and just watching TV and stuff. Like I just felt like these were really cute. So I did get two of these sheets because there's only like one per each of the little like graphics. So I wanted to do two of those. I got Sick Day 2.0 because I have her original Sick Day, but I really like these as well. So Sick Day 2.0. Nap time. I like the hashtag five more minutes. It's down here, sorry. The I ate too much, which I feel like I could have used in one of the spreads I just did, but I think these are really, really cute. I love the little food baby one because that happens to me all the time. I always get like stomach aches. I got the take my money ones, which I feel like this is a reformat as well. I thought it was really cute. The little refresh. The mom life is the best life. I love this one. There's also like an angry mom life one, but I like this one a lot. I got, oh, I restocked on my sushi sheet because I was running low on my sushi stickers. So I got more of those. I also think this might be a reformat too. Um, the no, no, no's. Yeah, maybe I did restock because I had these before, but I was running low on them. Um, I don't know, what the, I think this is just the YouTuber ones. They're really small, which is a good size for that. The magical theme park deco. I think I got a couple, yeah, a couple of these because there's only like one thing per sheet and I was like, I'm gonna need two. So I got two sheets of these. All you need is love, which was like her Valentine's Day sheet. And I just thought this was so cute. Again, I got two, three of these. Cause you know, committed, cute. I got the Brunch Munchkins 2.0. I had the original ones, but those are really cute. The Can't Get Enough of You. These are so cute as well. I love this one right here. The podcast munchkins, which I thought would be cute for listening to podcasts, but also recording voiceovers. Um, and then I got two of the I Love You sheets, which I just think are so cute. I love those. So that was my order from Once More With Love. Then I also have my very first order from Kia Town. I have never ordered from Kia Town before, and I saw this kit, and I really wanted to use it for a week in February. I'm really obsessed. This shop definitely does more of like... I think he advertises it as like nerdy, kind of like comic, not comic-y, but like nerdy kind of like TV show, movie kind of kits, which is really nice for people 
who want to mark like TV shows and stuff like me in their spreads. So I really like this one a lot. I don't know if it has the name on it, but I ordered this one kit. Okay, let me keep this out because I don't want to. Oh, it says Love You, I Know Legendary Kit. So this is the Legendary Kit, which is like his full size, and it says Love You, I Know. So this is the little freebie that came with my order. I also did get the glitter little sampler as well. And it is like a Star Wars themed Valentine's Day kit, which I'm kind of obsessed with. So I did get it in glossy. I think you have an option to get it in another paper type as well. So this is the full boxes, your sort of functional sheet here with like um, checklists, a movie marquee, a payday day off reading, weekly here flags icons and like a little video game uh console one you have your little deco which is cute a weekend banner date squares and date covers um a double box here some icons some uh various like functional text three heart checklists and work labels then you have quarter boxes half boxes labels bill dues and some more like labels down here heart check boxes headers and little things and then you have your washi like cut up washi and daily habits here. So this is my first ever order from Kia Town. I'm really happy with it. I really like the way the glossy feels and I'm really pumped to use this kit. I will be using this in February. I mean, I'm uploading this in February, but you'll you'll see this plan with me eventually, guys. So this is from Kia Town, like I said. First ever order, love you, I know, legendary kit. Um, I feel like you can go to a shop definitely for good like movie and TV kits, faux show. So there is that. Then I have everything else I think is Glam Planner, Crest Press, and SPC. So let's go through Glam Planner since that's on top first. Um, I don't think this is the order I got my kits in. I think I, ju I just got this kit yesterday, but whatever. I have some kits to show you. So um, I keep forgetting. Well, I keep forgetting, but also I don't know because she never fully advertises that the Lux kits get glitter samplers. And it doesn't say it in the item description, but I know she did that once, but I wasn't sure if it was like a one-time thing or if she was gonna continue doing it. So far, she's continued to do it, but I also still have been ordering the glitter sampler just in case, so I don't know. But anyway, this was her like rendition of the Disney art that came out. I will show you this kit in full, and then I'm just gonna show you the full boxes of everything else just to make it a little bit easier. So I did get the little Fashion Girl boxes as well. The full kit came with a little freebie, your double box, and like I said, it did come with the glitter sampler, but I did purchase a glitter sampler as well because I wasn't sure. I really love the double box here. So here's her kit setup. I love this art a lot. I'm a sucker for Disney and Harry Potter art. I just really like this. I love the little Main Street situation. This is so cute. So you have your full boxes, your heart checklist with like a glitter background, half boxes, heart checklist, nope, quarter boxes, payday, bill due. Two extra full boxes, date covers, these like squared off boxes of flight tracker, film edit upload, and two daily or like weekly trackers. Icons, little things, hydrates, um, deco, weekend banner, functional text, three art checklist, habit trackers, you know, functional items to the side. Headers and patterned washi, and then you have your bottom washi, which I'm not a huge fan of, but I would obviously just cut it and use a Simply Gilded washi with it as well. And then your work labels. So I really liked this kit. A lot. Like I said, I collect pretty much all of the Disney kits, so hers was my favorite the way she had did it, so I did order that from Glam Planner. I don't know the names of most of these kits. I apologize, so I'm sorry if I'm like stumbling over them. Okay, again, same thing happened with this one that I ordered. I think this was like a brunch kit, so again, I ordered the glitter sampler, but you win some, you lose some. I'm going to move this glitter sampler to the back just so you guys can see the full boxes but you did get that double box as well which is really cute let's just throw these in here as well might as well as well as well as well as well uh, anyway these cellos kill me okay get in there anywho so here are the full boxes for the brunch kit again i really like the scene i think the girl's gorgeous but this scene was probably my favorite i just love food scenes so there's that this was a mystery kit that i picked up in shop i'm not like the biggest fan of her mystery kits but i really like this art it's like a vintage kind of like train twgr i love the girls so i grabbed that and i think i also grabbed the fashion girls as well 
So I have that in a luxe kit. And then I got this kit from Glam Planner, which is like a Glam Planner and GP Sticker Studio collab. Um, GP Sticker Studio drew the art and then Glam Planner. And I think she also did GP Sticker Studio, did a kit. So I really liked this. It was really soft, kind of like an anytime kit. I also got the Fashion Girls. Very, very cute. So those were my orders from Glam Planner over the past month and a half. And then I have a couple of things here from Crest Press, and then we can go into my nice, beautiful stack from SPC. Um, <laughs> all the new releases have been good recently. Anyway, so from Crest Press, I have two orders. Um, this order just came a couple days ago, so I'll show you this first. She did come out with some, like, Disney foil, so I kind of wanted to grab that because sucker for Disney foil. Here's the little freebie as well. Um, so I got one of every foil color of the Mickey headers. So I have gold, rose gold, and silver, and hollow. She offers hollow as well, so you have buy all four option. I'm just like, these are the cutest headers ever. So definitely wanted to grab those. And then I got one of all four of these particular full boxes. She offered these Mickey headers, another Mickey header, these full boxes, and another set of like Disney full boxes, but these were my fave. Again, one in every color. The hollow is like my personal favorite here. But it says, feed me Mickey waffles and tell me I'm pretty. This is like an outline with like a Dole Whip and a Mickey ears. This is like the stroke outline, which I love with the Mickey ears. And then just like scattered Mickey ears here. So that is the foil that I got from Crest Press. I also got this April monthly kit. I really like this art. Hardly anyone was doing weekly kits with this art. So I decided to buy it in the monthly because... She also offered a deco sidebar of a little girl. And I thought this would be perfect because realistically, baby number two is probably going to be born in April. There's a good chance she could be born at the end of March, but I thought this would be so cute. So there's your deco sidebar. You also get this little like deco and date squares here. So here's her monthly. You have the front page. I love a little chick. It's so cute. Some icons, paydays, um, the second top bar, strips boxes more paydays and then like labels holidays more labels and like dues and other labels down here so that is the april monthly kit i'm just gonna put all this back later because i don't have time right now i'm too tired and then i also got this lucky full kit i thought this was such cute art i love i've said it before i'll say it again pastel like holiday art is my personal favorite this reminds me so much of like lucky charms so well yeah because it's just so cute. So I grabbed this kit a while ago. I believe everything is still in her shop though. So this was the freebie that came with my order. I also ordered the glitter sampler here. It comes with date dots. Um, and then these are the full boxes, which it comes like this, but I always move the full boxes to the front. So you have your full boxes, your like functional deco page here, half boxes, build dues, class work, heart checklist, headers, labels, time dots, little things, washi strips, fancy labels, ombre heart checklist, and then your bottom washi and extra full box and date covers and weekend banner and flags. I thought this kit was super cute. Definitely using this for St. Patrick's Day. I really like it a lot. So that is my like orders for the from the past couple months from Crest Press. And then last but not least, I have my beautiful stack from SPC of all of like new release kits that I've brought home. I don't know if I've said this before, but I do bring home a ton of foil and like a ton of washi, but I never know what's being released. So I don't want to accidentally show something that hasn't been released yet. So it just kind of all gets put away. But I do keep all the kits out and I know which ones have been released. So I'm just going to go through one in all of its glory and then I'll show you all the other ones. So this first one is the Jessa Ultimate Kit. Oh, I really like this. It's a very good anytime art kit. I love the colors. I love like the soft greens. I like anything that's like different in colors if that makes any sense. Sorry, my air just kicked on so hardcore right now. Okay. Anyway, so here's the freebie here. You got your full boxes, which again, love. Very good anytime kit. You have your deco, little quarter boxes, weekend banner, bow, movie marquee flags, work labels, all sorts of things here. Your like icons and extra full box page with these little check marks and some boxes here your functional page, half boxes page and quarter boxes, headers, pattern labels, pattern washi, little things, solid labels, solid washi, ombre heart checklists, and then your bottom washi extra full box and date covers page. And then I always usually bring home the glitter sampler, sampler, sampler. 
as well. So that is the Jessa Ultimate Kit. I'm obsessed with this. A very good like anytime kit, which I really want to get better at using more anytime kits. So I have that one there. Then I have the Baby Pink, Baby Pink? Baby Pink kit. This is a mini kit. Um, she did Baby Pink and Baby Blue for It's a Boy and It's a Girl. This will probably be the kit that I use the week the baby girl is born, Bo show. So I have this one here. Then I have this kit here, which is called Cupcake, a really good like birthday kit. I'm not sure if I'll use this for Avery's birthday or the baby's first birthday or anything like that. I like the donut theme. I think it's really cute. I also did grab the little girl boxes as well. So we'll see, but I think it's really cute. Not for Avery's birthday this year, but we'll see. Then I got the sprinkle kit. This was like largely inspired by my baby shower. This looks like me. So um, this I will be using soon. You will see this plan with me soon. It's so funny too because I bought a dress pretty similar to this. So that's the sprinkle kit. You have the girls here as well. Glitter sampler is always in the back. I also did grab the lullaby kit. I got, I got all the baby kits, y'all. It's just so sweet. It's just so sweet. The little elephant. I'm obsessed love that i got the make a wish kit i really love this art i'm actually thinking i'm going to use this for brian's birthday week because i don't know unless like a good like boy birthday kit comes out i think this is going to be really good for brian's birthday week so i got the fashion girls here and then this is the new freebie as well if you haven't seen that make a wish i got the beauty babe kit again a good anytime kit i just thought the colors were really nice like the soft pink and all of the various items and i did grab the fashion boxes for that as well this is Rainy Day. Again, another good anytime kit. Like, SBC's been coming out with so many good anytime kits. I'm obsessed. So this is a good one. Very, like, sketchy. I like it a lot. I like this box. There's that. I got, or I grabbed the Easter kit. This will be my Easter kit this year. Love it. If you guys have seen the foil, I don't know when I'm uploading this video, but the Wiggle Wednesday that is, like, the light purple foil that has come out recently, like, the most recent Wiggle, is going to be the Wiggle I use for this week because it's going to be perfect. So there's the Easter kit, Take Me Away, which is a good travel kit. I really like this artist. This artist just like kind of just came out. So I just realized that my camera cut me off when I was talking about Take Me Away, but sorry about that. I even finished the whole video and I was like, wait, what happened here? Anyway, so Take Me Away is the last one I showed you. And the next one is Mood, which is really cute, TWGR. I love that Andrea made it like pink. I did like the original colors. So if I can find someone that made it like the original colors, I might purchase that as well. But really liked this kit as as well. I keep saying that. I'm sorry. All my stars, of course. I did do a plan with me with this kit for my birthday week and the gender reveal week. Um, I had to get the newest version of it, the reformat, because duh, it just makes sense to me to have all the baby kits now. Um, I mean, I had them all before. What am I saying? Uh, Work from home, which is the same artist as the Take Me Away artist, like the new one that just kind of popped up out of nowhere. Love the colors of this, the gray, the mint, the coral. Here's the fashion girls. I think this is really cute. I'm gonna have like a month off with baby. And although I'll probably use a lot of baby kits that month, I might use this because like, I mean, I'm not gonna be working from home, but I'm gonna be chilling at home. So <laughs> this would be good. And then last but not least, I have planned with caffeine, which reminds me a lot of mood. I think it's because they're both TWG, but really love this kit a lot. Uh, I think it's so cute and I just, I mean, I know I'm biased, but I just love SPC. I love all the anytime kits and all the kits in general. And I do bring home quite a bit, but it will eventually get used. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.